Welcome to the CFS Recovery Tutorial. Today, you'll be introduced to a potent brain retraining exercise that's been beneficial for many in combating chronic pain. This method was initially introduced by the renowned Dr. Moskowitz and has been documented to assist thousands worldwide in handling chronic pain from various sources like neck and spine injuries to fibromyalgia. Results may vary, with some benefiting within days, others in weeks. However, the key is consistency and repetition, crucial components of neuroplasticity. When it comes to timing of doing the exercise, there isn't a perfect time. However, it's ideal to perform the exercise when pain levels are below 7 or 8. On a scale of 1 to 10, aim to conduct this exercise broken up into small chunks of 30 to 60 seconds throughout the day. The more you practice, the better the outcomes. Before making any judgment about its effectiveness, commit to at least 4 to 6 weeks of consistent practice. Here are the exercise steps. 1. Identify the pain. Close your eyes. Pinpoint the exact location of your pain. Be as specific as possible. Is it in your head? Behind your eyes? Connect the pain to your imaginary pain centers in your brain. Close your eyes and center yourself. The more detailed you are about where exactly the pain is, the more effective this exercise will be. 2. Envision various glowing regions in your brain. Picture your brain. Within it, imagine multiple glowing regions throughout your brain. These symbolize the brain's pain centers. Establish a mental link between these glowing centers and the pain in your body. This visualization helps create a tangible connection between perceived pain and the brain's response. Feel and associate that glow with the pain being experienced in your body. 3. Continue with closed eyes and concentrate on gently amplifying the glow of the pain centers. As you do this, you may sense the pain intensifying slightly. As these centers brighten, you might feel the pain slightly intensifying. This is a normal part of the exercise and helps in the retraining process. We're going to focus on dimming the pain centers. Next, Mentally command these centers to dim their glow. As they fade, the pain should simultaneously begin to recede in intensity. This process reinforces the brain's capacity to control pain perception. Now let's engage in a short practice round. First, identify your pain's location. Envision the various glowing regions in your brain. Connect this glow to your pain. Expand the centers, feeling a slight increase in pain. Then, gradually dim them, sensing the pain diminish. Repeat this process three more times. As you continue, you'll recognize your brain's influence over your pain perception, empowering you with each repetition. Now to recap, remember... While there isn't an absolute perfect moment, it's preferable to engage in the exercise when your pain is manageable, ideally rating below 7 or 8 on the pain scale. Commit to practicing this exercise for a total of 20 minutes daily. Remember, you don't need to execute all 20 minutes in one go. In fact, Breaking down the exercise into one to two minute sessions spread out through the day can be more beneficial. Consistent, spread out repetitions can amplify the exercise's efficacy. It's essential to give this exercise a fair chance. Refrain from making snap judgments on its effectiveness. Dedicate yourself to at least four to six weeks of consistent practice. Over this period, you'll be better positioned to gauge its impact on your pain management. Thank you for investing your time and energy into this transformative exercise. Here's to your journey towards mastering pain 
and improving your quality of life. This exercise is more than a mere technique. It's a transformative tool. When practiced with commitment, it holds the potential to retrain your brain, offering an avenue to manage and even alleviate chronic pain. Remember, consistency is paramount, and each repetition is a step closer to mastery over pain.